I imagine uh, you've seen all kinds of stuff over your years in the game. Were you at the show in Chicago where uh, Too Short, I guess, was late? Goldie was telling us about this. And uh, yeah. the crowd was getting real, real upset. What went down yeah. with that? Man, from what I remember, you just pretty much said what happened. And we did end up, you know, performing. I met uh, Bishop Magic Don Juan that night. He was selling his book. Man, I got some family out there. You know, I seen, seen a bunch of family members. But what I really remember most is right after it was over, we had to get out there, real get out of there real fast, man. And they put us in this school bus. And swoop, through the crowd, through the traffic, and we was out of there. But yeah, I, I remember that, man. And this thing, you know, a few more nights like that, but. Getting out of there by itself, but Chicago was so big now, nah, man. They had to uh, round us up some more security and get us up out of there. Gangsta Disciples, the GDs. Yeah. You know, and, and, and and these motherfuckers was like 30,000 deep. Yeah. I mean, the whole <laughs> motherfucking building was one gang, man. I, uh, Scarface was there, that's right. Man, Short came, man. He was about 30 minutes late. Man, the shit got so ugly, man. They was backstage trying to negotiate the monies and this and that. All I heard is, is somebody saying, you motherfuckers ain't leaving Chicago. <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't leaving Chicago. We, and we ain't but seven, eight deep. Man. Yeah, no was a lot of shit that yeah man, it was it was ugly, man. It was a lot of shit that happened in the mean in the between time. But thanks to this one dude, i never forget, Big Bob. He was uh, he was short of uh, bodyguard security partner. Uh, he ended up working with J.D., Jermaine Dupree, and everybody. But, uh he ended up being from uh, St. Louis, and he had an auntie, a cousin, some female, man, that came in a fucking dressing room in the middle of shit about to go all the way down. And they found out that she was related to somebody that was related to somebody, and every nigga in, this, in the room bowed the fuck down. They really respect the, the rank and order in Chicago. Like, if you're the son or the daughter of a kingpin or a person or Hoover or somebody, and you're 7 or 8 or 9, 10, 12 years old, they, go, they respect that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.